So welcome back to my channel. This is Gamer Dom, and this is our old friend Helmet driving the well, slightly bizarre Russian Tier 7 medium tank, the A44. Bizarre because it's look at it, rear-mounted, um, yeah, rear-mounted medium, fairly mobile, and a pretty good gun. Um, well, what he'd be shooting out there, but he got spotted. <laughs> Don't fire your gun. <laughs> Don't mention your name, Pike. Uh, does army reference for those old timers like me? Uh, so we're he's uh, here. We are mines. Uh, he's top tier actually. He's one of the chosen three, which is fantastic. Doesn't happen very often, as we know. And he's heading around the south side. It's an encounter game, so I think he's counting on the fact that uh, more than likely there'll be some enemy tanks coming this way. And sure enough, there's a M M6 there. Now the big challenge with all these sort of tanks. Apart from the fact you get your engine knocked out every time you get hit frontally, that seemed to happen to me every time I played this tank. Um, but secondary, it's got really shocking gun depression. Um, so a very, very nice gun and actually surprisingly bouncy when it doesn't go through your engine compartment. Um, although that sort of little knob of a, a commander's hatch is definitely a weak spot. Now a good movie pulled back there because he's got no gun depression. He's having to get the gun over the side um, to, to be able to, even to point down at that Dickamack and the Stug that were up there at, uh, where were they, JE7. Um, and just at the moment he was thinking about firing up that Dickamax, he suddenly thought, ooh, ooh better, better not, and pulled back just as he, uh, his sixth sense went off. Because that Dickamax would have made a nasty mess of his side armour. Uh, anyway, so he decided to head up the hill. It's fairly mobile, this thing. Can do 59, apparently. Um, uh, someone please explain to me how he got assistance damage for that uh, M6 when the KV-1S is right there and firing at the K. I, it just doesn't make any sense to me. Sometimes the spotting mechanics of this game just seem to go completely weird. So he's in a problem here because, as I say, the gun depression is, is pretty tough to handle in this thing. So he's trying to find somewhere where he can actually play a part. That's a nice hit. And this gun is pretty darn nasty does some serious clunk 307 hit on that t43 who's decided he doesn't want to be around here now you can't hang around too much because there are three artillery on the enemy team so you don't want to get you don't want to be around too too long because chances are oh, just didn't allow that shot that aiming to come in perfectly yeah because chances are one of the artists is going to go you know what I'd like a helmet sandwich. Bounces the M's, uh, Type 64's shot back on him. Puts a nice shot into the 64. 333. 30, 331. God, what's wrong with my eyes today? Um, hit. So very nice indeed. Okay. Oh, it's a WZ coming round. Hello. Oh, and, uh, and the T43 has come round. So, they're behind you, helmet, I think. He's worried about the uh, Type 64. Yep, Type 6. Uh, here you go, the WZ's coming round. They've just killed one of our artillery. There's a little useful little gap here. Can we get a shot on the. Yeah, we can. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. T43 does not like being hit by this big ass gun. But he's going to have to be one last time before. He goes with feeling. However, our second artillery has been taken out. The WZ has done his job and he's now... Well, I thought he was about to run away. But here's one of the other things that this tank is extremely good at. Ramming. Beautiful ram and shot kill. Double two for one joy. And he's in a nice position here to deal with that. Oh, shot. wow. Wow. Well, that, you have to say that was a misplay by the Type 64. Trying to shoot it out with a, with a hull down. Um... A44, but hell of a shot, hell of a shot there from the helmet there. So he's got three kills. He's done 1,800. That's the nice thing about these big Russian guns. You suddenly realise you've done a lot of damage. Oh, that was a shame. Wasted that shell. Type T34 wasn't aware he was there and just popping around the corner like that was. Oh, and he's missed him again. Maybe time for another ram. Are we going? He's going to swivel around. Nice. Bounce that shell. Bounce that shell, and a ram kill. Nicely done. 
Right, push that guy forward, shielding us from the incoming fire. It's got a whole lot of extra um, plate mail, even if it's burnt plate. W, that uh, VK is not paying attention. And there we go, finally hit one on the move, that's good, and he's down. Right, that's his uh, fifth kill. 2,000 damage. We're going out arty hunt. Oh, hang on. We're going arty hunting, but then there you go. The engine's out. Engine and tracks. Not what you want. And he's also been immobilized up in the air. Uh, can he get down? Oh, that still must have been about to fire. He's uh, managed to repair his engine. He's going after the last artillery by the look of it. Where is the little so and so? There he is. Nicely done. Seventh kill. Good game. Well played. Took him a while to find his location, but he carried it beautifully. So that was a nice, nice quick game. Really, really well played. And he said it's not bad for his fifth game. Um, no, not bad at all. Not bad at all. First class, he got Hand of God, Bruiser, Duelist, Fire for Effect, High Calibre, and Top Gun. Finished up top of the team. 2,347 uh, damage, 7 kills, 12.22 base, base XP, fired 14 shots, hit with 9, penned with 9, for that 2,300 damage. Uh, took 8 hits himself, 3 of which penned, 5 bounced. Uh, such is the bounceability of that, of that thing, especially if you can side scrape it. Rear mounted um, turret tanks are always pretty good at side scraping. Um, 42,000 credits. 32 profit, so he didn't resort to any premium, I don't think, and 1,833 XP for his crew. So there you go, Helmet showing off in his fifth ever fifth ever game in the Tier 7 Russian Medium, the A44, and having a pretty darn good game, showing off the strengths and weaknesses. The armor is definitely a, a strength, um, and its ramming ability is definitely its strength. The gun is extremely good. However, the fact you get ammo racked very, very easily, and most uh, difficult to get used to is the gun depression or lack of it um, very very tough sometimes to get in the position where you can actually get the gun to work I've done it before now with when I used to have it where I wedged myself sort of on the, on a slope so I could bring my <laughs> gun down enough because uh, you just otherwise you just had no chance so anyway I hope you enjoyed it if you did give it a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so in the meantime enjoy your games have fun try not to take it too seriously and I will see you again soon Gamer Dom, signing out.